academic research is dead. I've spent the last little bit, the last day, looking at ChatGPT and playing around with it. And I am literally dumbfounded with how good the AI actually is. If you haven't done so, please go check it out. Go use this tool. And it is gonna have profound dumbfounding effects on my career, on all academics career, and virtually anybody that is doing anything within the knowledge economy. To be honest, I don't know what to make of it. I spent last night, I actually could not sleep. I woke up early because I was thinking so much about this. In the very short term, what's gonna happen is productivity is gonna go through the roof. But remember, as you are interacting with this AI and you're correcting it, so there's gonna be problems that you're gonna find with the AI and it's not gonna be perfect. And you're gonna say, well, that's not perfect. You're gonna write that in and it will correct it. And as it corrects it, it's gonna get better and better and better. And almost all of our work, the way that we understand work as we have seen it until now is changed. And there has been people that have been forecasting this happening. There's this term called the singularity that Ray Kurzweil pointed out where humans and computers will be so interchanged with each other, we won't be able to disentangle one from the other. And that moment is today. He was predicting it was supposed to be around 2030, 2035 or 2040 or somewhere around there, but it's today. I could not believe how good this actually is. And now what does that mean for the future of our careers and work and, and you know, white collar, uh, uh, knowledge intensive careers? I don't know at this moment. I am still trying to figure it out and comprehend. In the short term, productivity is gonna greatly increase. In the long term, that means that we probably need to look at how we should change things. I could see immediately in terms of academic productivity measures and tenure and universities, um, we're gonna have to change that because people can literally type in, write me a research article in my field and it will be able to do that. And then you can submit within that very day to a journal and have it under review. And so that means the number of publications will go to in infinite because somebody that is smart enough with a little bit of, of programming knowledge will be able to say, write me a program to write an unlimited number of research articles to submit to different places. So I think temporarily the way that we can minimize this is we need to start looking at things that are more interesting and more exciting and really, really different. So doing things like qualitative research and going into actually talking to people. Human, computers cannot do those things right now, but it will, will be able to do that very, very shortly. They can't do the interaction kind of stuff. The, the, the work that is predominantly done with human interaction where you're actually talking to somebody, we can't do that. Robots very quickly will be able to do that. This is the moment I, I am absolutely dumbfounded. This is the moment that I can actually see that this was possible, where we actually have computer interfaces that are more um, compassionate, that are better uh, to interact with than actual humans, that will be able to console us in many different ways and make us feel more better and human uh, compared to everything else. So I used to think that humans will go into things once computers take over um, and certain roles that humans will be able to go into different areas that are more human, right? So doing things in the creative industry. That is now possible. The AI and chat GPT is now possible that they can do something that's better than humans in a creative industry. And anything that's writing, for example, um, computers are likely to do that better. Now, even in video production on this YouTube thing, computers are gonna be able to do this better. I'll be able to submit this video and make it a lot more attractive 
very, very shortly, within the next probably five years, somebody will have an application that I can just submit and it will make it a much more exciting, better video for you to watch. It's already possible right now, and if you are good at video editing and good at programming to do these kind of things, especially with the introduction of chat API, but it's gonna become mass produced for everybody. So the implications for work and the implications and where we're going, I don't know. Other than the fact that right now it is truly miraculous. This is a moment that we should reflect on of something that is really, really miraculous, both good and bad. There is going to be people that will do nasty things with this. And there's going to be good people that will do very good things with this. I don't know what those things are at this moment. That's the one thing I do know from being a professor of innovation. I don't know. And we can't predict these things. It literally was a moment where I woke up and people were talking about this chat, this chat GPT thing on Twitter, so I decided to, or on, on, on TikTok, so I decided to look it up and my world was changed. I think we need to really stop and think on what's gonna happen. I don't know at this moment. I think we need to have some conversations. It's a really, really powerful tool where it's gonna change academic research. It's gonna change everything as we know it going forward within knowledge industries particularly academic research, that is really boring, really mundane. But remember, as we interact with these computer systems, with these AI systems, as we interact with them and we say, this is boring and mundane, somebody actually types that in to the chatbot. The chatbot registers that with the AI and the AI knows to make it more interesting. So very, very quickly, we are going to be at a moment where they're gonna produce things that are phenomenal compared to what we can actually do. So as humans, this means that our jobs are likely to be replaced by AI. Many of our jobs are gonna be replaced by AI. So I used to say, go do things that are really exciting, go do things that are really fun and things that are necessarily human, but I don't know <laughs> at this moment. I am dumbfounded. I don't know what the predictions are at this moment in terms of what to do and the exciting things that we could possibly do. The only thing I could do or I could say is to keep being awesome. Keep doing awesome things and exciting things that drive you as a human and drive you to do more incredibly, more amazing things that you personally love to do, whatever that is. So if you're in the academic game, do things that make you feel great and exciting and 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 do more of those possible things it's the only thing that we can do in terms of making this more um, making our life more fulfilled is to do things that we just love to possibly do and do more of those things and as we do more of those things i think what's going to happen is that ai systems yes they will replace many many parts of what we do and I don't know what that's, I don't know what the end result is. I'm dumbfounded. But um, I do know that we will be doing some amazing things where perhaps maybe our job will be to, to hang out with other humans and do really human things. I don't know. Um, careers, industries, all sorts of stuff changes very rapidly. And we're going to see some rapid changes over the next five years. All right, take care. And it's amazing. It will blow your mind. Go check it out. All right, take care. Bye.